Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what y'all normally see from me, but we're going to do a little bit of cooking today. Got some baby back ribs, we're going to get the smoker fired up, make some baby back ribs for dinner tonight. First thing when you get ribs, what you want to do is they got a membrane on the back side of these bones. If you take a paper towel, you usually peel that up. You want to peel that membrane right off the back side of these ribs. Now if you leave it on there, it's not that big of a deal, uh, but as it cooks, it almost it like kind of crisps up and almost like a, a plasticky kind of feel. What we're gonna do, I got a little bit of bacon grease from the other day, and I'm gonna rub this bacon grease on these ribs. It's gonna be kind of like a binder. You can also use, um, Mustard. Mustard. Oh. Mustard. You're sticking with bacon grease, are you now? But we're going to do bacon grease. I've never tried this before, but I bet it'll help add a little bit of flavor. It's kind of like uh, in my video when you use bacon grease on the steaks. Yeah. That was pretty good. It was good. So let's see how this turns out. I like to, we got a, this is a big Mo Quezon competition rib rub. Mm -hmm. I think I picked it up at Academy. Make sure you season both sides of the ribs. Flip it over. Nice liberal coat on here. Anytime you're seasoning meat like that, you want to let that rub sit for a good 30, 45 minutes. It's going to help kind of set up. It's going to pull some of that moisture out of the meat. It's going to help pull all that flavor into the meat. Get a little bit more right there. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes, go fire up the smoker, get to cooking. All right guys, got the grill preheated to 225. I'm gonna go ahead and get this rack of ribs on here. I'll set it right up top there, where I don't get too much heat from the bottom. We're gonna let that cook. It's probably gonna be, I don't know, four hours or so. As it's cooking, we're gonna spritz it. I may do a wrap. Sometimes I'll wrap them in full, sometimes I don't. We'll just see how it's looking. But catch y'all back in a few hours. Oh. About five seconds. Bye. All right, the ribs are looking good. We are gonna go ahead and wrap them. Mm. It's like the smallest rack of baby back ribs I've ever cooked. Well, they're baby back for a reason, right? <laughs> like, it's, off, it's off a baby pig. Ribs come off a pig? I mean, every animal has ribs, but these are off a pig, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, normally when I wrap my ribs, I use butter to put on here, but I'm gonna go back with the bacon grease like we already started. This is just a trial thing here. You definitely want some liquid when you wrap this, that way it kind of steams and helps finish cooking it. And then we just wanna hit it with a little bit of light brown sugar. That's gonna give us a nice, sweet caramelization on there. And it's gonna be delicious. We probably got about another hour to an hour and a half left on these ribs if I had to guess. Tuck them away right there. I'm excited. Looking pretty good there, Brad. Looks good. All right guys, ribs are done. Time to do a little taste test. I'm gonna slice these guys up. Super tender, like fall off the bone tender. <laughs> Super <laughs> fall off the bone yeah, tender. Literally, there's the bone. <laughs> Now, if you're doing competition barbecue, this is not how they like it. But this is how we like our ribs. If you're not a fan of fall off the bone, I'm sorry. I want to bite. Mm. You just hold the camera, please. <laughs> Do my job. 
I was wondering if I was gonna like taste any of that bacon from all that bacon grease. No. Really? So that's a good binder. Really? That's so good. You're about to make people stop using mustard and switch to bacon grease. Mmm. These might be some of the juiciest ribs I've ever made. Seriously. And close up. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were about to try to get one. <laughs> Can I, I'm getting a close up for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Dude. Oh, man, dude. Those mm -hmm. look so good. All right. Do I get one? We'll let you get a little taste. Uh, I'll go ahead and be like a scout. Just eat mine. <laughs> I don't know where the rib is. There's so much meat, I don't know where the rib is. That brown sugar. Mm. Nice little sweet tang. Pretty good. Very good. Very good. Since Freddie didn't eat the rest of mine. <laughs> Had a designated rib. <laughs> Dude. That's good. Very good. Heck yeah. You killed it on that one there. No more tacos and it's ribs only now. Since fishing is so bad, I don't know when I'll see another fish taco, but we are sticking to ribs and wings. Right. I can get down so, with that. Ladies and gentlemen, this has turned into a cooking channel now. <laughs> Brad's not fishing again. Yeah. I'm just gonna be fat and happy and eat all the time. Hey, <laughs> fat and sassy, ain't you, baby? Ain't no wrong with that. Invite, <laughs> invite salt eat over. That was so dang good. I hope you all enjoyed that video. I know it's different than anything I normally see on the channel. I'm just trying to switch things up though. I'm probably gonna be throwing in a little bit more cooking like this, mainly grilling and smoking, stuff like that. So if you're into that, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm definitely not going anywhere as far as fishing goes. There's gonna be plenty of fishing on the channel, but fishing right now has been tough. I literally think it's been like two weeks since I've caught a fish. It's kind of depressing. But if you enjoy the cooking videos, please give it a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me cook or smoke. We can do, we can do whatever. So y'all let me know what you want to see. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, y'all take care.